Honorable Minister of Finance, the Honorable Minister for Railway Development, a member of Parliament for Huawei Constituency, and the Regional Majority Leader in Parliament. <laughs> Honorable Minister of Information, a member of Parliament for Ufase Airebi Constituency, the, ch uh, the Chief Executive Officer of National Youth Authority, our Rivier Queens and Chiefs, Togbeo Mamao, the clergy, Directors from the Minister of Finance, Directors from the Minister of Information, Honorable Municipal and DC Chief Executives, uh, Acting Chief Director VRCC and Directors from VRCC, Distinguished Guests, Members of the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen. Good afternoon, Ndonemi. I wish to, on behalf of the Volta Regional Community Council, the Chiefs and people of Volta Region, welcome all of you to this important meeting. I wish also to extend a special welcome to the Honorable Ministers of State and the other dignitaries who have traveled to the region to participate in this meeting. It is my hope that you will enjoy your short stay. Akwaba, Miawezo. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our meeting this afternoon undoubtedly will find a place in the annals of the history of our dear nation Ghana, where posterity shall be fair to us. The reason being that through this meeting, at this challenging moment all over the world, where economies have been negatively affected by COVID-19, we have come together to discuss our national economy. As a region, we hope to make valuable contributions which will inform the difficult but needed decision of government to sustain the economy. To the needed decision of government to sustain the economy for our survival today and that of generations yet unborn. I'm therefore excited and grateful that this opportunity has been created for us to gather here at the regional level, the government town hall meeting on the economy. I'm grateful to the honorable ministers of finance and information for organizing this meeting. Equally, I'm excited and grateful that as participants, you have honored our invitation. It is your presence. and participation that shall make this meeting a fruitful one. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, town hall meetings offer government the opportunity to have a direct interaction with the people whom they serve. These meetings serve as a form of popular participation, a tenet of democracy. Consequently, this meeting today is a way of consolidating our democracy, creating the opportunity for government to share ideas on one pertinent aspect of our nation, the economy, gather the views and and garner the support of citizens on issues relating to the economy. Honorable ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, there is no need to pretend that we are not in difficult times as a result of the impact of COVID-19 on our economy. In spite of the fact that we have been able to manage our response effectively and efficiently to contain the spread of the virus, which resulted in the low infection rate a number of deaths recorded, we have not been able to prevent it from taking a toll on our economy. That notwithstanding, it is not lost on me that we are a nation always with hope and dogged determination to work together and turn any tide against us. Our economic challenges today shall not deny us of the future we envisage for this country, where there is great infrastructural development Capacity is given to many more youths to create jobs 
and we are not leading with debt. This is the reason government is rallying our support towards generating the needed revenue to bring us out of the unfortunate situation visited on us by COVID-19. I have no doubt that the Honorable Minister of Finance and other government officials, among other things, shall share with us efforts of government, including the electronic transaction levy, e-levy, geared towards generating the revenue to sustain our growth and development. Explanations to the levy shall be given. Concerns will be addressed, and we shall hopefully leave this meeting with understanding of the need for the levy. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, permit me at this point to state that regardless of the challenges there are, our region continues to benefit from national policies, programs, and initiatives contained in the 2022 national budget of building a sustainable entrepreneurial nation, fiscal consolidation, and job creation, the Ajenkwa budget. In addition, the 2022 national budget had made provision for some specific projects in our region. In the area of road continuation and completion of Asikuma Kweve, a Havekokwe section of the Eastern Corridor Road, completion of the Sokode Road Dual Carriage Road, continuation of the u Bypass and Campus Roads, rehabilitation of Ho Denu Road, and construction of the Sokode Akrofu Bame Road, among others, have been, have been taken care of in the budget. Honorable Ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to say that uh, we need a lot of things. Um, we, we as a region need a lot of development and especially infrastructure. There are complaints about the roads and other infrastructure needs. People have complained about the, our national, regional library that is still uncompleted. People are worried about the youth resource center that is still not being com completed. All of these require uh, uh, money. And I want to explain that instead of borrowing money uh, to do the, all these projects, uh, why don't we discuss among ourselves a way of a little bit of bedding sharing for us to share the bedding to be able to um, complete this project without necessarily adding to our, our debt burden. Honorable ministers, distinct, dignitaries, distinct guests, ladies and gentlemen, as participants, you are key stakeholders in our national economy and you represent various segments of our people. Uh, I therefore entreat you to participate effectively and efficiently in this meeting, not hesitating to ask questions and make comments as well as suggestions with the overall aim of supporting government generate the required revenue for our development. Uh, on this note, I want to speak some maybe. Uh, Miawezo, Medo Wezone Mikata, Medo Wezone Miva Takwekwe Tokeya, Jidudu Kle Duko, Volta Nu. To me, we have a town hall meeting. We have a consult, community participation. We have a new tool. We have a new domain. We have a new site. Jiru do sibe wa kolodua. Tane na no leji ra hiya be jiru do never mi abo. Ne mi vado je kuri mi. Ya tami vada. E me yo me bronya gedo kure mi abe mo. Me ko sebe. Mi a mi nyabe. Mi a mbe mo gedo hiya dodo. E nu ke do cho le mia hia e ho go me fifiera e chi me gale mia so e nya be mi va extend e de pwe water project be e chi ne sumi le ho e do ke do le ji ga ke mi hia ga e ko ba e wona nu e ta mi va be mi do je primi e le ke mi a wo ibe mi ka ta mi a pasire don awo e a jo ga vivivi le mi a no yogbo be mi a po ga be ma ga no e ga dodo ji e si a yo be mi anto mi a ajoga le mi adokwesi akowo nuke to ke hia mi le du come akwana mi on this note uh, even though the minister didn't understand me well